All right, hello everybody. We are continuing our run of Dun Dragon Quest Three here. We have returned. Let's see, Jimmy and Sean are getting close to leveling. But what we're actually going to start out with this time is we're going to check out that second half of the return list, right? Um, <clears throat> last time we went everywhere from up through Temple of Dharma, and now we're going to start with Lancel and check all these places with uh, with our thief friend for tiny metals, as well as the five towns in Alfgard. So, let's fly to return to Lancel. Oh, and there's actually a couple other town places that probably are worth checking, like the Pirate Den. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get started with this. Um, obviously, I'll you probably want me to cut out anything that doesn't have like actual useful info. So we will see you when I find the next medal. Okay, we got something right in the middle of this cross here. Oh, a life nut. Okay, that's not not a small metal, but it is something. <clears throat> we're in this city, in the one city that you can't return to, the one where we got Ortega's helmet. I went through Lancel and Zipangu and didn't find a single one. Actually, I think I missed a spot in Zipangu. I should go back there and check it out, actually. I didn't check out the uh, area with all the different um, pots. <clears throat> but I checked a couple of shrines as well, or like little churches or inns or whatever. Let's see, we'll go upstairs here. Okay. Yeah, I must have missed. Oh, I mean... I don't know that I missed anything, but it's worth double-checking. There were stairs in here somewhere. Stairs that would get me to where the... Yeah, here. I haven't checked here. And there's nothing. That's a shame. Alright. Well, I'm gonna keep going. Um, next up is... What, Edmer? I bought a bunch of invisibility herbs in uh, Lancel, so we should be good. From Edinburgh, I'm going to head to the um, city that we built, the city that our merchant person built. Oh, already we've got one. You see that? We have shields and swords. Um... We don't want to have to do this multiple times. But this is at least worth checking out thoroughly. complete that puzzle again just to check and make sure that we're not missing anything down there which is possible Alright, as far as I can tell, this is the only one. There's a small metal. 
It's not bad. But, like, we're not finding them at nearly the rate we need to. Um... Actually, that's the quickest way out of here is just to return to it again. <laughs> yeah, we'll go check out the merchant town, and if I find anything, well, you guys will... I'll, I'll show it. Okay, we found one. There's one. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah, the jail's been rebuilt, I guess, into a non-jail. Which is nice. There's a couple of staircases and there's that one, like, entertainment building to the east. Nothing up here. <clears throat> but, maybe something in here. So far, two tiny metals in, goodness, several towns. I think where I'm going to head next, since I have uh, Ramia here, is I'll head to that pirate um, place. We'll try them out. So, see you in a minute. I lied, I found this, and I don't remember if we've been here before. Oh, it's this tiny little town that's by Eliahan. <clears throat> sure. We'll check here, and uh, then we'll head to the pirate place. It's funny, I don't remember there being this many places. But we're back in Tadanki now. I guess I'll just keep looking around. Um, hopefully next up is the pirate area, so see you there. Okay, we did find something. Um, we'll need step guard. But it's like right over here. There, you see it? Small metal. <clears throat> and then we'll have to check this downstairs area. there. And I don't think there's any other stairs. I checked the, uh, there's a little upstairs in the weapon shop, but there was nothing up there. Other than that, I think we're good here. Yeah, there's nothing else. So, now we can head to the pirate's place. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, I just checked this whole area and I did not find anything, but, but, I can't remember if, if we came back here after beating Baramos. I feel like we must have, but maybe not, because the, the pirate boss here told us to come back after beating Baramos, right? Baramos is defeated. The ocean is great. never ends. You defeated Barros. The right tactic is the key. You don't have power. There's always another way to win. Don't rely on your achievements, ha ha ha. Well, that's not especially useful. But okay, I guess we're headed next to... 
what, Samanosa? Yeah, I think so. Off we go. And I will see if I find anything. Whoa, three things here. Hold on, let's let's get this right. One of them is that... Here, there's a small metal. Let's see. Second grave on this... One of these is that staircase. That's an agility seed. Oh, is it the fourth one here? I think so. Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, it's the third one. Oh, it's a Pachisi ticket. I guess I can't reopen that... Uh, oh, it, it kind of makes sense that you can't reopen that from above. Because that would enable you to break the game. Right? So, okay. So we found one tiny metal and one Pachisi ticket here in Samanosa so far. But I gotta keep looking. And who knows if there's anything actually here. Anyway, I'm gonna keep looking around and, uh, well, if I find anything, I will show it. See you in a minute. Okay, we found one here in Samanos Castle. Yeah, right here. Another small metal. We'll keep looking around. I haven't gone inside the castle yet, so there's probably something to be found in there, too. Um, but yeah, uh, I will let you know the next one that I find. Here's another one. Oh, it's a life nut. Okay, that's... Not so useful. <laughs> oh, I probably should check that area, huh? Alright, well, I'll keep looking and I will let you know next time I find something interesting. We found one right here. Yeah, it's something. Small metal, yeah. So we are in Ludatorm. We are now officially looking through the towns of Alephgard. Um, as for metals... Six so far. It's not a bad yield, uh, but I still do have to keep looking around. So I will get back to that, and well, I'll see you when I find something. Found another one, right? The cat is looking at it for some reason. That's a Pachisi ticket, so nothing super interesting actually. button push. Okay, I'll be back when I find something. We've got something. Oh, it's a small metal. Alright. I guess that makes seven? We're almost clear of this city. I just gotta check the north... Western corner. Oh, in the well. Oh, there is something here. Another metal. 
Whew, that's kind of ridiculous. Two that I missed in this city. Alright, that appears to be everything. I will keep looking around, and I'll see you next time I get something good. We got something here. There it is. A wizard ring. Oh, that's... I mean, it's helpful. It's not what I wanted, but it's helpful. Alright, I'll keep looking around. Be right back. something else over here. That's a punch easy ticket. That's a shame. Okay, we just got one more, or maybe a couple more areas to check in this town, and then we will be good to go. is so weird. Um, I think this is it over here. And I don't think this leads anywhere. Like, isn't this just another monster fight? Yeah, it's another monster fight. And there isn't usually anything in these areas because they're because they're story disconnected, you know? I think, or isn't that what this city's called? Pretty sure. Yeah, Mercado. Checked in, checked this area, checked here, checked upstairs there. I kind of went a little bit everywhere, so I think we're done here. That means next up is what? Rimmeldar? No, Cole. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking and I'll be right back. something up here. <clears throat> a mystic note. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. We're almost out of MP. It's alright, I think we have enough. Yeah, we that, that finishes this area. I already checked upstairs where the sword maker dude is. There's something here. Oh, a little over. There we are. Tiny metal there. Here's another Pachisi Plaza. I think I'm going to have to play some Pachisi to get the rest of this, you know? Um... say that when it's night always here. It's so strange. Okay, we're gonna head to Rimmeldar and that'll be it for um, Tiny Metals in Towns. And I can say thank goodness for that because goodness gracious this has been a little bit mind-numbing. The worst part is I think I already checked Rimmeldar when I had just figured out what Seek Out does. So I don't expect to find anything, but if I do find something, I will show you. So be right back.
You see that? There's one in the cell. I gotta go grab... There's something in the cell. I gotta go grab that. In order to do that, I go around here. So I guess I did miss something in this city. Even though I was looking around here with Seek Out before. Let's see what we got. That's a small model. Alright, that covers Rimaldar. And then, that means that covers pretty much every inhabitable area in the game, as far as I can remember. I've done a bunch of shrines. I didn't show everything because I didn't find stuff everywhere, but... Let's return to Eliahan, let's drop off these metals, and see where we're at. So anyone gives us the Dragon Claw, which no one can use. Oh, no wait, Jimmy can use it! Really? Okay. Interesting. Alright, cool. Well, the only other places that I can think of to get Tiny Metals is, is in uh, the Pachisi areas, you know? So I guess I don't have it in me to do Pachisi today, but what we can do is we can do a, a quick run into Zoma's castle and see how far we get, and then that'll make it that'll work for this week, and then next week we will I will do some Pachisi on the side and show you if I get any medals. Is the is the plan. That's the plan. So actually no. Uh, let's head to Rimaldar, and I'll get prepped and everything, and we will be in Zoma's castle in a minute. See you in a minute. Alright, we're here in Zoma's castle again. We've been here before. Um, I've shown... How to get to that darned, uh, staircase. I'm throwing some seek outs out just in case. I don't think I'm gonna find anything, but I could. noting that on the way in we did actually kill a metabol, so we got some good experience just going from Ribbledar to the, to the castle. And I guess Jimmy doesn't have anything else to do with his MP, so like we may as well throw out sea counts every once in a while. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Lion roars, huh?
So it's interesting that this hidden stairway doesn't pick up under Seek Out, but the one in the, like, the pirate area does. Very interesting. Here we've got this uh, goofy puzzle here. But the thing is, is that we can solve it pretty easily. If I just get the rotation right. trick is to just not fall. There's not even anything over here. Shoot. All right, hold on. How do I keep getting these wrong? No, they're like switching around. Oh, there we go. I fell. Like another dead end too. Although, actually, give me one second. I'm not sure that it's a dead end. Yeah, it looks like a dead end. All right, so we've made it through there. We're down one floor further. I mean, this is just a big area to. Ooh, swordoids and putrigons. These are new. All right, let's get to it. Thank you. 
So we stole a Staff of Reflection, which probably casts Bounce. And that's why I gave it to Sean and not uh, Betty. Here's the one treasure chest on the floor. We got the double-edged sword, which appears to be garbage. It's just called double-edged. It's not even as good. And nobody else can use it. Hilarious. Oh. A little ridiculous, but that is it for treasure on this level, I'm pretty sure. Right? His thief nose says no more chests, so we just gotta find the stairs down. So I'm gonna do that, and well, let's see how long it takes. Thank you. 
Hydra by himself. It's Ortega and King Hydra. We should we should help him.
Someone, someone throw a heal all at him. Oh, jeez. It's all over. Everything's getting blurry and I can't hear anything. Deliver a message. I am Ortega of Eliaha. If you happen to go to Eliaha somewhere, tell my child, Kornik, what has become of me. My only regret is never being that for, and he's gone. Man, if only he had had his helmet. Or the other goodies that I was equipped with. Dang. I remember this being a little bit more dramatic in the NES version, actually. Yikes. He just got walloped. But that is the end of Ortega. And so, well, we've got to keep going and make sure that Zoma doesn't do this to everybody else. Onward. Onward.
So in this run, this is where I wanted to get to. I wanted to see the Ortega scene, and I wanted to get here. Because, well, six treasure chests. Lifestone. I'm pretty sure the Lifestone... Is that the Sage's Stone? I think that I think that is the item we were looking for. There's a Yggdrasil Leaf. I don't know why that one gets a special... No, this is the Sage's Stone. What in the world? There's a Wizard Ring. That's great. Okay, and a Mimic. But Mimics are pretty easy at this point. Okay, Lightning is the other um, unique spell that heroes get. Let's make sure there's no other chests on this floor. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Item. Sage's Stone. Item. Life Stone. Item. Oh, we don't want to use any of that. So the lifestone doesn't do anything. But the Sage's Stone is a heal us. I don't know what the lifestone is. But basically it's free use of heal us as many times as you want, so it's really, really good. Probably that'll go on Jimmy, and then Jimmy can use it, like, constantly. And that means that once Betty learns Heal Us, we'll have three people that can use Heal Us every turn. Which will enable us to, you know, basically survive any amount of damage that can be done. And even turn it around. Maybe. Nothing there. So what the Sage's stone, Sage's stone effectively does is it makes it so that any uh, dungeon is fairly easily traversable without constantly dropping MP. It's really like the OP, uh, the most overpowered item in the game, because it's just so good. Okay, so the Sage's Stone I'm going to give to Jimmy. Trade it for the Life Stone. Is this equipment? It says Life Stone. Nothing happened. Can't be equipped. I don't know what it's for. I forget entirely. Oh, and this is it. This is the bottom. Creepy background sound, huh? Here it goes.
It's Zoma. I welcome you to your grave. It is I, Zoma, who will bring about the destruction of the world. All life shall perish as the world sinks into a state of despair, and you shall be my sacrifice. Come, my servants, make them suffer. And it's King Hydra. Well, no, but it didn't do anything in combat, did it? Let's see if we can win this fight. King Hydra goes down. Betty gains a level. Gains some MP. Gains some minor stats. Learns Barrier. That's pretty good. Here's dude number two. It's Barra Bros. Thank you. 
All right, Barabros is down. 3,300 experience. I don't think it can be used outside of battle, is the thing. Yeah, it only works in battle, which is a little troubling sometimes. Here's number three. Barazom. I guess it's the zombie Baramos. Alright, let's see if we can take him out. That's number three. I think that's all of Zoma's little buddies. But we are... Look at how wasted we are. We did good. But it's time for us to get the heck out of here. What? No. You're kidding me. Run away. is a decent run. We have made it to Zoma, which I thought was going to take a little longer than that, but uh, you know what? It's uh, all right. Let's drop off the last tiny metal, and we'll call it for this week, and it looks like we'll be finishing this next week, probably. I mean, unless Zoma is, like, insanely powerful and just wipes us. Which is possible, although not likely. 82 now. 90 gives us a vivified step. I have no idea. Oh, 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 so next time I'm going to do some Pachisi is what's going to happen. Which is kind of an anticlimax, but, you know, what the heck. We'll, we're going to try to get as many of those uh, tiny metals as we can from the various Pachisi parlors. And, uh... I 
we should be good to good to go as far as this goes. So hopefully the Pachisi doesn't take too long next time, but but we'll see. Anyway, let's head back to the castle. And we can save up and we can call it a week. An episode. Whatever. King is a little bit beside himself right now. Jimmy's about to level. Sean's about to level. Betty just leveled. Alright, well, Dragon Quest 3, almost done. Uh, we will call it here, and uh, we'll hopefully finish it up next week. See how many um, tiny metals we can get from the different Pachisi parlors, and then uh, take on Zoma. See how it goes. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you later.